now that we've discussed several calculation types, let's talk about the customization available for materials. So to get to the materials tab, go up to the top right of your screen, click on materials. First screen displays all the name of members and their materials that are preloaded in the 3E+. The second one down on the left, on the left side, uh, is insulation materials, where a list of all of the available insulation materials uh, is included. So these include materials that meet ASTM standard performance specifications, name a member company products, and then any user created materials, including those shared via the Teams functionality, which I'll talk about in a minute. You can search for certain insulation types in the search bar at the top, and it'll automatically bring up materials that fall into what you're searching for. So let's say I'm looking for a certain ASTM standard, it'll bring up all the materials that have that in the name. You can also sort products by owner, company. You can quickly find a particular material. You can also sort things by the minimum uh, temperature, application temperature. So if you, say if you're looking for a cold process, an insulation that you'd like to use, you can sort by that as well. If you're interested in adding a new material to the list, click the blue add button in the bottom right. Bring up a, a box in which you'll enter the material's name, uh, what general type of material that it is for, for lookup purposes, the minimum temperature, and the maximum temperature. And then for entering the performance, you can review the product material performance data sheet. Oftentimes, you're given paired data uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, and this lists the thermal conductivity, the K value, at various temperatures that the product can be used. So I'm going to list out some thermal conductivities at various temperatures, making this up for an example product. Step to get all the way to 500. Get in between 0 and 500. <clears throat> and here it is. After clicking on it, you can see off to the right, it has all the info that we just input. And if you'd like to edit it, click this button at the top to change any values and save it. Now, there are other ways to input material properties uh, when creating a material. Uh, I mentioned that uh, 3E plus uses the paired data to create a curve. You can directly tell 3E plus the equation for that curve by selecting polynomial equation here. And here you can enter the coefficients for a polynomial equation, so ax squared plus bx plus c. And some manufacturers provide this information, but it can also be used for research purposes. Lastly, both paired data and polynomial options include an option to enter them as p a piecewise function. So there are some insulation materials that cannot be described by one polynomial equation, uh, such as ones that perform differently at lower temperatures than at higher temperatures. So this gives you the ability to have two equations to describe the performance with a cutoff between the two as when each equation uh, should be used by 3 plus. Additionally, after you create that material, if you want to save some time, you can copy uh, existing uh, materials. So I'm going to copy this one to do it. by checking the box next to it. You can duplicate it. You can also deactivate uh, material. So if I hit the checkbox and click deactivate at the top, it will remove the material from the list of active materials for use. So it won't hinder any calculations uh, on any old projects that, that may reference uh, that material. That way, your material list can be somewhat less cluttered when working on new projects. That's it for uh, insulation material types. Uh, let's move on to fuel types. Now, there are several standard fuel types included in 3E+, uh, and users can add their own fuel types. Uh, you can name the fuel, adding information on the fuel content and the cost, and then any pollutant values for environmental calculations. Moving on to jacket materials. There are several default products as well uh, for jacket materials, and you can add your own. The only input value that's needed is the emittance. 
uh, of the product. And that's typically listed by the product manufacturer. Jacket materials are not assumed to have any thermal resistance. And if they do, they would need to be modeled separately as an insulation layer uh, in your project. And then for base materials, here's where the options uh, for the base material of a pipe or duct or other vessel uh, that you're studying is included. So you do some default uh, properties for stainless steel, steel, copper, and PVC uh, materials. Uh, but in create a new material, just add button down here and name it, uh, provide the emittance uh, value for that material, as well as the thermal conductivity uh, of that material. So that's it in terms of inputting new materials to 3U+. I, I do want to highlight a new function in 3U+, that allows you to share material. Going up to the Teams tab on the upper right, you're able to share your material information with team members. So you can create a team, and I created one here called Tump the Company Team by adding up in the team name. And then you can add people to that team by sharing a link with them. So they, they can follow it once they're logged into their 3 Plus account. And once they're part of the team, they'll have access to any of the materials shared with that team going forward. So I created that team going back to the Materials tab. If we want to share an installation type with a team member, uh, for example, we can do that here. So we bring up the list of materials and say I want to share that material I created earlier. Use the checkbox on it and you say add to team. Select which team you'd like to add it to and hit confirm. Now, anyone that has access to that team will uh, be able to use that material type now. So, this is helpful uh, as it will reduce errors and also save time. The values for each of these products would only need to be input once. 